get behind the wheel of a car and put that vehicle in motion while under the influence of alcohol and drugs. And the outcome, the devastation, the lives lost, and the people hurt beyond belief is unsurmountable. So what I want you to do today, I want you to sit there. I want you to watch. I want you to listen. I want you to put yourself in one of these vehicles. What if? What if it was you sitting in this car? What if it was you getting arrested? What would you be feeling? Because this is all too often real in our community, which all of us here live in. It's unthinkable what we need to have mom and dad do next. Because the deputy will wait for mom or dad to collect their composure. And then we gotta ask them to do the unthinkable. What loved one should ever have to be asked to go to 740 East Henrietta Road to the Monroe County Medical Examiner's Office and identify their loved one, identify their daughter or their son. What does it look like? Well, it's a room in the ME's office. Not very big, pretty small. This room has a plate glass window, four foot by four foot. It's got curtains over it. Those curtains will be drawn. Two medical examiner's office personnel will be sitting with Mr. and Mrs. Patron. Now by this point in time, the medical examiner's office has removed all of Rachel's belongings that were on her on the night in question. One medical examiner's office personnel will be in the room with Mr. and Mrs. Patron. The other, behind the glass, two inch plexiglass, curtains still drawn. The office personnel will ask uh, mom or dad, are you ready for this? Are you, are you able to make an ID for us? Now, what parent will ever be ready to view through the glass, which now they just opened the curtains, and on the opposite side of that two inch plexiglass is a body on a gurney, much like this, with a tarp over it. Mom or dad are sitting in front of that glass, inches away, peering through. The medical examiner's office will pull the curtain down and pull the tarp off of Rachel's face and say, is this your daughter, Rachel Patron? Oh my God, Mom and Dad will say, yeah. <laughs> That's her. They can't touch their daughter. They've been robbed of that. They can't feel her anymore. They never got to say goodbye. They never got to say, I love you. And they didn't say it enough.